Hello and welcome to the second annual College of Agricultural and Life Sciences Homecoming Shoebox Parade. I'm Elaine Turner, Dean of the College, and I'm with Maddie Kukos, the CALS Council President, Animal Sciences Senior, and my co-host for the parade. We are so excited to celebrate our students, clubs, and organizations, and many of our units who are so supportive of our college. As Dean Turner mentioned, this is our second shoebox parade, with all proceeds benefiting the Allen and Kathy Hitchcock Field and Fork Pantry here on campus. Following our parade today, a photo of each float will be posted to the college Facebook page, at UFCALS, and shared by the CALS Council. There will be an award given to the float with the most likes or reactions, so we encourage you to find your favorite float, show it some love, and spread the word. It looks like the parade has started. Dr. Joel Brennemule, one of our associate deans, is clearing the road with his trusty steed. And now that the path is clear, our first float is coming through, created by Francesca Michelini. The UF IFAS College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, or CALS, has both undergraduate and graduate programs. CALS boasts a student to faculty ratio of 11 to 1 and has awarded more than $600,000 in scholarships this year. Maddie, did you know that UF even has a B college? This float showcases why it's great to be a Florida Gator. Our next float was created by one of our student organizations. The Family, Youth, and Community Sciences Club provides its members the opportunity to apply their knowledge and skills through networking, service, and social activities. Students from any major can join the FYCS Club to support the mission of helping students in the, the pursuit of their passions. And following the FYCS Club is a float created by the UF IFAS Soil and Water Sciences Department. Soil and water are the foundation of all ecosystems and are necessary for all life on Earth, including gators. The department provides hands-on learning to undergraduate and graduate students, and its research and extension programs touch the lives of thousands of Floridians. The goal is simple, to improve soil productivity and water quality to keep ecosystems healthy, especially swamps. This float features healthy surface soil and groundwater for this gator lounging in the lawn outside Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. Coming down University Avenue now is Megan Edge's float. She is a freshman majoring in nutritional sciences and a student worker in the Cal's Dean's office. Its Nashville theme serves as a nod to the Gator Vanderbilt homecoming game, and the float features Albert and a cowboy hat standing inside the swamp with the Gainesville rendition of the famous I Believe in Nashville mural. We have another float featuring the creativity of a nutritional sciences undergraduate student. Angeles Ramirez is a first generation student with a Mexican background. Her float showcases her cultural pride by including Mexican inspired and colorful elements such as the country's national flower, ponchos, and teapots dedicated to her grandmother's business. As the president of Lucha Latina, her goal is to inspire other girls to embrace their culture and fight for their dreams because nothing is impossible. <coughs> Dr. Turner, do you have a sore throat or are you just a little horse? Speaking of horse, here comes the UF Equestrian Club, an organization designed to connect undergraduate students of various experiences and backgrounds under one united interest, horses. The organization and riding teams are open to all students, from those who have been riding and showing horses from an early age to those who just have a love for the majestic creature. The club prides it themselves in developing characteristics in horsemanship, community, leadership, and courage, and the riding teams travel all over Florida and Georgia competing in intercollegiate horse show associations. They look forward to seeing you at the next meeting. This next float comes from Florida 4-H serving members between the ages of 5 and 18, 4-H brings hands-on learning to clubs, classrooms, and community groups across our great state. 4-H is growing the leaders for today and tomorrow, and with more than 6 million 4-H alumni nationwide, they are making a difference across communities, the country, and the world. 4-H'ers are grateful for the support of the University of Florida and UF IFAS Extension in making the best better. Maddie, were you in 4-H? I wasn't in 4-H, but I'm still a big supporter of Extension. 
speaking of UF IFAS Extension, here comes our next float. The Extension Dean's Office connects communities with expert and diverse Extension agents, as seen on top of the float, as they work to build a healthy and educated Florida. The state is their stadium, and they are eager to run and pass on their knowledge. Extension experts are knowledgeable in fields such as agriculture, food safety, and financial counseling. From farmers to master gardeners, they have a solution for your life. This float was submitted by Charlotte Emerson, the CAL's Director of Student Development and Recruitment. She thinks her float is classy, tasteful and sophisticated, yet orange and blue festive and to the point. Her design ideas are innovative and the epitome of style and dedication to the heart of the Gator Nation. I like the way she embraced the idea of beating Vanderbilt. I think Dr. Emerson also advises Alpha Gamma Rho, and they are coming down the road next. This group of young men represents the Fall 2020 Rush class. Their float is based on their favorite TV show, The Dukes of Hazard. They have worked together on this project throughout the semester and are proud to present their creation. The UF IFAS Center for Public Issues Education in Agriculture and Natural Resources examines how people think about, form, and act on opinions regarding complex issues. The Pi Center enables the public and policymakers to make informed decisions about Florida's agriculture and natural resource sectors. This float features a scene from Ben Hill Griffin Stadium where fans cheer on the team as they pass the pie through the end zone and gain public understanding of issues that affect Florida. Some of our Florida royalty is coming around the corner. This looks like Elaney Mason, the Florida Cattleman's sweetheart. Elaney is a junior agricultural education and communication student who is active in Collegiate Farm Bureau and is also a CALS ambassador. She also created the float coming up right behind her. The Florida Cattlemen's Association was established in 1934 on the values of protecting and promoting the Florida cattle ranching industry. The state of Florida is home to more than 886,000 head of cattle and is ranked 13th in the nation for cattle production. This year, Florida celebrates 500 years of Florida cattle ranching history, dating back to 1521 when Ponce de Leon brought cattle to our state. The CALS Dean's Office graduate assistants, Caroline Barnett, Meredith Oglesby, and Olivia Doyle are all in their second year of their master's program in agricultural education and communication. A local favorite, Chicken Salad Chick, is the eatery of choice for their assistantship supervisors, Dr. Charlotte Emerson, Jared Shellhouse, and Kathy Carr. This float portrays those supervisors in their natural habitat with a croissant on their plate, sweet tea in their cup, and a frosted cookie in their hand. By the way, this float was not sponsored by Chicken Salad Chick. Speaking of agricultural education and communication, here comes the AEC float. AEC students study agricultural education, communication, leadership, and extension education. In fact, there's an undergraduate minor for each of those areas, as well as certificates for industry professionals who wish to enhance their skills. Their social science work focuses on the application and adoption of cutting-edge scientific research. Their float is comprised of people, and people are the heart of the Gator Nation. Delaney Bender, a sophomore pre-veterinary biology student, created this next float. Some of her favorite things to do include reading, baking, and spending time outdoors. Because she has been camping since she was a baby, she has focused her float on an outdoor theme showcasing a tent surrounded by nature. Delaney loves kayaking, hiking, geocaching, fishing, really anything she can do outside. The UF IFAS Advancement Float is a thank you to our alumni and friends for their support. Philanthropy helps UF go greater in so many ways, like the Field and Fork Pantry, a free resource for members of the UF community experiencing food insecurity, which was made possible by Alan and Kathy Hitchcock. Donors also support research programs, scholarships, innovative learning, and professional development opportunities for students. We are all grateful to all Gators who give back. Pride in Cows, or Pi Cows, is an organization that supports LGBTQ students. In partnership with Out in STEM, Pi Cows empowers its members to succeed personally, academically, and professionally. 
organization strives to provide a safe space for all to express themselves and hold themselves to a broad diversity policy built around respect for individuals regardless of where they are on life's journey. The float combines the two things the organization is most passionate about, the LGBTQ plus community and cows. Here comes the UF IFAS Florida Medical Entomology Laboratory float, a home for world-class mosquito biologists working on vector-borne diseases and global health. The lab was established in 1956 and emphasizes a mission of research, teaching, and extension related to arthropod vectors impacting public health. The float showcases a group of scientists exam examining live mosquito larvae. Don't forget to empty your pet's water bowl sitting outside your garden. You may accidentally be breeding bloodsuckers. The Cal's family includes 42,486 alumni who reside in all 50 states and 117 countries. This float celebrates nationally known grads such as Tim Tebow and Easton Corbin and locally known alumni who are difference makers in their communities and industries. Recently recognized alumni include Lap of Love Veterinary Hospice founder and CEO, Dr. Danny McVitie, Escambia County 4-H agent, Brian Estevez, March of Dimes Chief Volunteer Officer, Megan Hoot Walker, and FDAC's General Counsel, Stephen Hall. Each year, more than 1,700 society-ready graduates embark on their own journey as new members of the Cowles alumni family. This float was conceptualized, constructed, and completed by Kathy Carr, Cal's Alumni and Career Services Director. Collegiate Farm Bureau's main goal is to promote agricultural awareness. As a member, students can become more involved in every aspect of the agricultural industry. Their float is in tribute to Mr. John Hoblick, Florida Farm Bureau Federation's president, who will be retiring later this month. Mr. Hoblick has been a huge supporter of Collegiate Farm Bureau and an advocate for youth and agriculture. We wish him all the best in his retirement and hope he gets good use of his new UF Collegiate Farm Bureau Hawaiian shirt. This next float was created by the UF IFAS Extension Strong Professional Development Center, which was constructed 10 years ago for IFAS faculty and staff to gather, learn, and innovate. The Strong Center is affectionately named after the donors, Alto and Patricia Strong, who are recognized leaders in the Florida blueberry industry. On average, the Strawn Center welcomes about 12,600 people through its doors each year. Once inside, the lobby reflects Extension's past, present, and future. Sitting atop their float is the reflection of the vibrance and welcoming feeling you receive when you visit. The UFIFAS Extension Strawn Professional Development Center looks forward to celebrating their 10-year anniversary in January 2022. One of our student organizations, the UF Chapter of Minorities in Agriculture, Natural Resources, and Related Sciences, celebrates excellence in agriculture and works for the inclusion, achievement, and advancement of all people. Their volunteer and community building events foster professional development through mentorship and service. This float embodies the manor's mission of changing the face of agriculture by linking hands around the world. The images were submitted by Manners members and represent their diverse visions of agriculture. Manners is open to students from any major, degree program, and background who believe in creating a more welcoming and inclusive environment. Rounding the corner is the float from the UFIFAS Center for Aquatic and Invasive Plants. This center develops and disseminates strategies for addressing the impact of invasive plants. Unfortunately, all of Florida's native habitats are threatened by invasive species. Today, Albert and his biocontrol buddies are working tirelessly on their airboat to control the spread of aquatic invasive plants. You can be part of the solution by becoming familiar with invasive plants, disposing of plants appropriately, and removing plant matter from boats and trailers after use. This weekend, we are going to knock out the invasive bandy commodores and help Albert keep the swamp beautiful. The float on deck comes from UF IFAS Cals at Plant City. UF IFAS Cals at Plant City fulfills the land-grant mission of expanding access to education by providing in-person learning opportunities to students in Central and South Florida. The float features their motto, 
Same education, different location, and features the geomatics and agricultural education and communications majors. UF IFAS Cal's at Plant City is located in the heart of the winter strawberry capital of the world and is surrounded by strawberry fields. A large strawberry sits on top of Ben Hill Griffin Stadium and represents the many fields of the Florida Gators. Student Organ Donation Advocates at the University of Florida is passionate about promoting organ donation and registering students as organ donors. In fact, Agricultural Education and Communication Lecturer Becky Rollerson is serving as their faculty advisor as a living organ donor herself. The group also focuses on addressing myths about organ donation. Did you know one organ donor can save up to eight lives? To learn more or to register as an organ donor, you can visit DonateLifeFlorida.org or connect with UF Soda on social media. Here comes more royalty. It looks like entomology and nematology student Lauren Roberts is on her way through the parade, donning her Newberry Watermelon Queen crown and sash. Lauren also works at the UF Honey Bee Research and Extension Lab and is involved in undergraduate research. The Agricultural Economics Club is affiliated with the Food and Resource Economics Department. They connect students with each other and act as a liaison between members and industry professionals. They focus on professional development and networking opportunities within the food and resource economics industry. This float focuses on the importance of agriculture to Florida's economy. It represents the importance of the citrus sector and how it impacts every Floridian. This next float, assembled by the team at UFIFAS Communications, celebrates a milestone moment by showing you how Alberta likes to spend her free time by visiting Ask IFAS for answers to all her questions about plants, wildlife, gardening, natural resources, and many more everyday useful topics. UF IFAS has been providing timely, science-based answers to questions related to agriculture, natural resources, and family and consumer sciences for over 100 years. Getting information from IFAS has evolved over the past 25 years from paper handouts to CD-ROMs. It first went online in 1998 as the Electronic Data Information Source, or EDIS. To mark the 25th anniversary of EDIS, IFAS unveiled a new website and a new name. Ask IFAS has more than 6,400 free publications, now in a modern and smartphone-friendly format. You can be like Alberta and take your questions right to ask.ifas.ufl.edu. Do you even remember what a CD-ROM is, Maddie? Barely, but the EDIS system is older than I am. Anyway. Here comes a partnership float between two of our student organizations, Alpha Zeta Professional Honors Fraternity and the Entomology Club. Alpha Zeta is founded on the pillars of scholarship, leadership, fellowship, and character. With 68 active members, the Florida chapter is the largest in the nation and participates in a variety of social, service, and professional events. This year, Alpha Zeta and the Entomology Club collaborated for their float entitled Bugs and Bros to represent the defining characteristics of each organization. Although many Alpha Zeta brothers appreciate insects, the Entomology Club is uniquely created for undergraduates with a love for bugs. This club actively engages in service and outreach events to promote the nation's number one entomology program and an appreciation for insects and other arthropods. Next up is the float for the Challenge 2050 Global Leadership and Change Certificate which equips students with tools to lead systemic change in addressing the complex challenges of our global society. Housed in the college, this certificate connects undergraduate students to experts who are making progress in solving complex challenges and gives students experiences working with organizations that act on these issues. The float features the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals that provide the framework for the program. Challenge 2050 is, is growing gators to lead the way globally. As our parade winds down, we have another partnership float between the Agricultural Education and Communication Graduate Student Association and the UF Collegiate Veteran Society. The UF Collegiate Veteran Society is a student-led organization made up of student veterans, dependents, and military-affiliated students. 
CVS elevates the heart of the Gator Nation through the diverse and global life experiences of its members. Student veterans bring many strengths from their military service to UF, such as their motivation, leadership skills, communication skills, and broad world views. The CVS is proud to continue its service beyond the military. The heart of the Gator Nation is everywhere because it is in its people. AEC GSA focuses on providing opportunities for AEC graduate students to learn and grow from relationships with each other and the rest of the Gator Nation. This 120 plus member group brings together their diverse backgrounds to help each other be the best in their fields and further expand the heart of the Gator Nation. The partnership between AEC GSA and CVS reflects both organizations' commitment to serving others. The Gator Nation's heart reaches all four corners of the globe, and this float represents their commitment to keeping the heart beating and the Gator Nation strong. Our last float was entered by the CALS Council and is my personal favorite. The purpose of the CALS Council is to provide leadership for students and organizations. They support and promote clubs and organizations, communication between faculty and students, and serve as a liaison between organizations and student government. Our float is a depiction of the University of Florida campus. We are so excited to be back on campus this year and see students get involved with organizations they're passionate about. The students and the campus of the University of Florida are the heart of the Gator Nation. Marking the end of our parade, here comes our other CALS Associate Dean, Dr. Al Wysocki, on his horse. Maddie, do you think the UF Equestrian team gave him some lessons? Who knows, they did say all levels of experience are welcome. That was fun. It is so great to see the creativity in these shoebox floats and celebrate homecoming with all of our students, faculty, staff, alumni, and friends. As a reminder, in just a bit, photos of each float will be posted to the college Facebook page and shared by the CALS Council. Voting for your favorite float will be open until 11.59 p.m. on Thursday, October 14th. Be sure to show the best floats some Facebook love. We hope you all have a fun and safe homecoming weekend. Go, Go Gators! Gators.